Hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking at an artwork called Collins Street 5pm painted by John Brack in 1955. In the early 1950s John Brack created many artworks with subject matter of the urban Melbourne environment. He recorded the shops, cafes and workplaces of the city at the time. John Brack's Collins Street 5pm is considered to be both an iconic painting of peak hour Melbourne and observation on daily life in the 1950s. John Brack depicts Melbourne's financial centre hub at the end of the working day known as rush hour. The office workers are uniformly dressed as they stream out of their workplaces and head home. The dreary facial expressions of the workers and their lack of awareness of each other, each alone in the crowd, depicts people emotionally exhausted by the daily grind. John Brack painted from his experience of working in a city based insurance company as a young man, using sketches made over many weeks while observing streams of city workers leaving for home from the vantage point of a Collins Street doorway between 4.45 p.m. and 5.15 p.m. While the formal repetition and monochromatic colour scheme give the sense of monotony mundane of nine to five office life, Brack points to the presence of the individual by slightly personalising each figure. John Brack's style evolved in one of simplified, almost stark shapes in areas of drab colour, often featuring large areas of brown and grey tones. The restricted palette of brown tone comments on the conformity of everyday life with all figures almost identical and dressed similar. They seem more like robots. The repeated shape creates pattern that reflects the expression of monotony from the same shapes and lines repeated over and over again. The group of people walk in the same direction. In Collins Street 5pm, you can see John Brack has created the scene using a foreground, middle ground and background. This composition technique or convention creates depth in the artwork. The people in the foreground are larger and you can see their facial expressions up close. Some people overlap each other to give a sense of being in a crowd. The crowd of people that make up the middle ground on the other side of the street are smaller. Less detail is seen. The background shows the buildings where the people have worked during the day. The background sits behind the scene like a backdrop. In this case, buildings are aligned along the busy street. Can you think of an experience like at the end of the day, perhaps when you're rushing out at the end of the day of school? that might have a similar sort of feeling or, or experience. You know, think about how that would feel. Now you'll find that in your resource material, your reading material, you'll find that there are some words that have been highlighted and bolded. And opposite that, there is a text box that contains the meta language and art terms we would like to know more about particularly things like the foreground area of the composition, which are the larger people that sit closer to the viewer. Then we have the middle ground, which is made of the people that are lined up on the other side of the street. And of course, we have a background that's actually made up of the buildings that um, run along the street. Now, with this type of foreground, middle ground and background, it creates a sense of depth in the painting. So we're looking at this artwork to, first of all, understand or get some sort of meaning of what it was like at that particular time and maybe relate that to some experiences we have in our time, but also to look at the different composition conventions that we can perhaps use when we create our own compositions later on in this unit for our painting design. Okay, great, thank you, let's move on.